Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography where we discuss everything that is photography and today we are talking about uh, Upscale which is Luminar's new extension. If you're not familiar with Luminar then uh, it is an amazing AI editing software which I highly recommend giving it a try. It is freaking awesome. I do a lot of edits in it and they have come out with a bunch of new extensions. For example, they've come out with um, uh, one called Focus Stacking, Super Sharp, um, Upscale, AI background removal, noiseless, HDR merge, and they're coming out with one more. And so far they've been really freaking cool. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna cover uh, upscale and kind of how it works. Now, fun fact, <laughs> this is the second time I'm recording this video because I recorded this entire video and forgot to record my screen. So awesome me, go me, yay. <laughs> and for that mistake, please hit the subscribe button because uh, you know, trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and um, recording the same video twice really makes me feel good. So if I, if the video gets like 2,000 subscribers and pushes me over that 10,000 mark, you know what, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. <laughs> God, <sighs> shoot me now. Okay, good, <laughs> here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some uh, photos. And if you notice, I'm in Luminar Neo. This is the catalog tab where you add photos. So we're gonna click add photo we're going to select any, uh, whatever photo you want. So let's do this one here. This is the one I took in South Africa of Lion's Head in Cape Town. And we're just gonna go back here to catalog. We're not gonna do any adjustments at all. All we're going to do is you'll notice on the right side of the catalog uh, tab is HDR merge, focus stacking, and upscale. That's where some of the, the extensions are. The other extensions, if you click edit, are in the edit tab. So here you have noiseless and super sharp another two awesome extensions. So we're gonna press catalog. And what this does, if you click on the little information button of upscale, you'll notice that it says the minimum input size is 257 by 257. So the minimum size photo that you can put in there is that big. The maximum input size is 16,000. And that's because the maximum output is 32,000. So you can, this image here is 8,192 by 5,464. Then when you drag this image into upscale, it will give you 2X, 4X, or 6X options. This is based on this size, because if I 3X'd 8,192, I will get over 32,000, which is the maximum output. So it can only 2X this one. It can't 4X and it can't 6X. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick, quickly, quickly press upscale. And obviously the bigger the file, the longer it's going to take. So this does take a little bit of time for it to go through and analyze the photo and pick the parts that need to be sharpened um, or upscaled. Remember, it's just increasing the size of pixels per inch so you can blow the image up a lot bigger and still maintain that quality of the image. Uh, now, a couple of things, I have noticed that this works a little bit better on images that are smaller pixels. For example, this image is huge. I mean, this is a long exposure that I took at, at about five in the morning um, of Cape Town, of the lion's head, and so that's why it's a massive image. So it's gonna make it nice, but it, there's always already so much detail in this image that it's still only going to look so much better, if that makes sense. And it's really only gonna make a difference if I were to blow it up to the size of like a billboard or something. Anyways, it is done now, so let's go ahead and open the image. And what we're going to do is, now, just as a quick, quick note, no app, no program, no editing feature, no anything technology-wise will take the place of getting proper focus. I just wanted to note that right now because it pisses me off when people are like, oh yeah, I just fix it in post, or oh, I can sharpen that. No, just get it freaking right. Just get it right. We're gonna zoom in here once it loads. Good, here we go. And zoom in. Good, now you see how sharp this is. This is very sharp. The lines are very crisp. And let's pick a spot that's uh, easy to remember. Okay, good, you see these two square lights here? Good. So this is the building we're going to reference. And let's go over here and let's open up the raw photo. And we're gonna zoom into that same spot where those square lights are, which is right here. It's annoying doing this live because I got to do it the long way. Zoom in, good, okay, good. And let's go back, zoom in a little bit more. 
Okay, and let's look back and forth. Okay, so you see this line here where the, the roof is. It's right there. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit more jagged on this one and it's pretty clear cut here. If we zoom in even more on this little part section, zoom in. There we go. You see how you can actually see the square pixels there? And then on this one, you can't, you see a clear cut line. And we're actually zoomed in more on the enhanced one than we are on the, the, the raw photo. But you see that big difference. So that's pretty cool. That, that worked really good. And again, this is only going to really matter if you're blowing these images up super big, especially when the image is already, well, it was half of this. So that's all, that's a pretty freaking large file. Um, let's try a smaller file. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's go to all photos here and let's see, what are these? Okay, let's try this. This one is 4,000, no, let's... all right, fine. Let's try this one. Let's look, let's find a point of interest here to, to zoom in on. Okay, this is soft. You see how this light is kind of soft? So let's see what happens. Let's go back to catalog. Let's drag this into upscale. And this one, I think we can 4X. Now oh, we can even 6X because again, six times 4,000 is what? 24,000, which is under the 32,000 pixel mark. So, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to spend that much time waiting on that. So we're just going to do 4X because we did 2X and upscale. So now we twiddle our thumbs. And um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, all those things that us YouTubers love you to do. I know it's tedious and we ask you all the time, but hey, it's the only way YouTube knows that you're liking the videos. So remember, like the video, comment, share, do a little jig, whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay, good. We're done. So let's take a look at this photo here and we're going to zoom in. Actually, we're going to go back to all photos because we want to see these two together. Good. Here we go. Zoom into that same light post here, right in the middle. All right. The lines are a little bit sharper. Let's go back to the other one and look at this one and I'll do this a little differently. So you guys are actually seeing them side by side. I'm going back and forth. So this one is a little fuzzy and fine. It's not bad, but it did sharpen the image a little. So that works pretty freaking good. Now there is a feature like this in Lightroom. It's called enhance. I haven't played with it too much, but it is basically the diff a different version of the same animal. You know, it's like they both do very similar things. Uh, Lightroom has one that's enhanced, uh, enhances the raw, the, the sharpness and stuff. And it also has super resolution, which doubles the resolution. It's kind of the similar thing. So if you use Luminar or if you've wanted to try Luminar, it has these awesome extensions and I highly recommend them. I have both. I use both at different times, but if you have Lightroom, then you can use the enhance. It's kind of like which one works for you. That's the essential thing. Like there's all of these tools and all of these things out there, but realistically it's what works best for you. Like I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm just trying to give you the data so then you can make the right choice for what you need to make you the best photographer. But that wraps up this video. So if you have any questions about it, um, go ahead and comment below. I will link a lot of goodies, uh, courses uh, to get Luminar. I'll put links in the description and it actually helps me because it's an affiliate link. So it tells Luminar, hey, we, we learned about you from Will and uh, we want you to pay him. <laughs> So it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me uh, look better to Luminar and I appreciate that. So go ahead and like it, subscribe, comment, and that's it. See you guys next week. I remembered to record this time. <laughs> go me. <laughs>